Hello everybody and welcome to Call of Jores. An old game from I don't know when, but I know it has a bunch of it's a, it's a long running series. I recently played Call of Jores Gunslinger and I really enjoyed that. And I was like, I'll check out the other ones. So I think this is the first one. So I'm gonna start with this one, see how it goes. And if it goes well, I'll check out the second one or whatever is next, whatever game was released next. Let's start a new game. I did uh, do a couple of test runs because I'm using a combination of keyboard I'm Billy. and mouse. And Ma, I'd never say who my father was, so I don't got no. Oh, shit. Did I fuck something up? Oh, no. The game's, like, crashing or some shit. Order, and the folks there are mostly white. Like my stepfather, Thomas. A big, mean son of a bitch who just as soon backhand me as look at me. I grew up in a town called Hope. Pretty much the most hopeless place I've ever seen. It's full of drunks and drifters and thieves and liars. And those are the leading citizens. Like my dear stepfather, who knocked the tar out of me at least once a day, rain or shine. He said he was teaching me how to be a man, but all he taught me is how to take a beating. Last time he laid a hand on me was over two years ago. I took off and didn't look back. Left to find my fortune. The legendary Colt of Juarez. Wanted to prove to that SOB that I could be more than he ever was. The world's a hard place. I didn't find squat. Did meet a girl, though. Molly. Damn, she was pretty. It didn't work out, though. Her dad saw to that. So now I'm back. Hungry, broke. I don't have nothing. Not even a last name. Alright, so... <clears throat> that is the story of our character, but we play as multiple characters through this game. I only know two of them so far. We got our, I don't know, half white, half Mexican cowboy Billy and his uncle, Reverend something. Well, he, he says his name. But those are just the two characters that I know about that you play as. You might well, not there it play is. as Billy that Hope. much. A haven for outlaws, assholes, and hypocrites. So, I thought for a long time that the Call of Juarez games were Red Dead Redemption before it became Red Dead Redemption. And it was just called uh, Red Dead. Because anyone who had a Wii back in the day, there was this game. Jones Cabin. Good place to practice some shooting. There was a game called Red Dead, where you were like this samurai cowboy or some shit. I'm not 100% sure exactly. But, uh, you know, you went around doing bounties and stuff like that. What the heck are you doing? This is private property. Okay, okay, easy. Makes sense. Since I already know this whole stuff, I can just, I'm just gonna skip through. Tutorial bits. This new candle. Oh fuck! This is the first time I've ever been tapped. Ever seen. Drink. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever got that dialogue. But yeah. What? Oh no. No no.
God damn it, Billy, grab on. Okay. so hot now. I told you to get out. Hey, you wouldn't shoot old Jones, would you? I got nothing against you. We don't need no trouble now. That's what I thought. God damn, Billy, is your fucking eyesight? Look that damn boy, you need glasses. Can't see shit. But yeah. And I, like, apparently, I, I don't know, but that game was Red Dead, and then they released Red Dead Redemption, which is the game everybody knows now. But apparently, Red Dead started off as, like, um, like a House of the Dead type of game. Oh, fuck. No, 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 dog. Stop. Damn it. How'd you make me do it? Didn't want to do that to you. And I thought Call of Juarez and Red Dead were the same game. I'm here to see the one person on Earth who ever gave a damn about me. My ma. Other than my stepfather, there's three some bitches in particular I hope to avoid. Tim Powell, our sheriff, who always thought I was up to no good, even when I wasn't. Clyde Forrester, owner of the Grand Saloon and meanest peckerhead you ever seen. Then there's the biggest bastard of them all, my stepfather's brother, Reverend Ray, the most self-righteous son of a bitch who ever picked up a Bible. Yeah. Reverend Ray is one of the playable characters. So, um, so another reason why I chose this game is, well, the reason I was interested in Call of Duty as Gunslinger is like the whole cowboy, you know, bounty hunter, quest for revenge, all that kind of stuff, you know, that stuff always interested me and whatnot. And my grandfather, I used to watch a lot of old cowboy movies with him, and that just, you know, you know, just reminds me of a nostalgic good time type of deal. My, my. Billy Candle. Been a long time, boy. Sheriff. I don't think Thomas will be too pleased to see you. You come back to set things right with him? I'm just here to see my ma. Well, before you go out there, I think you better give me your gun. Hand it over. But sure. Drop it, boy. No way. What for? Can't shoot the sheriff. Unfortunate. Fine. Welcome back. Just don't do anything stupid, son. I'm not your son. Thank God for that, boy. Thank God for that. All right, so we just got to town, and the sheriff's already on my ass. Son of a bitch! Damn, I got to get myself a gun. Look at those hombres. They look like trouble. Well, Billy Candle, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Susie, she keeps a gun in her drawers. I'm pissed at you, Billy. Here in town and you don't come to see your old friend Susie? Hey, I just got in. I was planning on coming by. <laughs> yeah, right. Billy's planning things now. Get your skinny butt up here before I change my mind. About to give us a piece of tail. Head on into the saloon. So far, so good. 
Don't see no sign of that SOB, Forrester. All right, time uh -oh. to get some boo. Really, the spick. Ooh, where you think you're going, boy? Hope you don't think you're getting lucky. <laughs> Not unless you've got some money. Relax, Clyde. I'm just here to say hello. Your balls will be saying hello to my boot in a second, boy. You want a piece of Susie, you gotta pay, muchacho. Sheesh. Came out straight with it. No filter. Oh. Gotta go out here so she'll be like, hey, go on the side of the building. Billy! Go to the window round back. Man, I don't know if she just got a thing for Billy. Flat busted, huh? Should have known. Thought you were going to find the gold of Juarez. Well, maybe you can find a rope to get your ass through this window. But don't raise a ruckus. I must be out of my mind. Man, Billy must have slain some good pee, pee back before he left. She out here risking her life just to get a little piece of that. This whip will do just fine. Now, you know what's funny? I've never noticed that whip before. I've been through this area like three times for testing purposes. That sounds real suspicious. But it really was just for testing. You don't get no action in this uh, at section. God damn. So, don't worry. Hi, Susie. Shh, wait here. I'll be back in a minute. I want to make sure Clyde is occupied. In the meantime, why don't you wash off some of that trail dust? All right. Where the hell's that Derringer? Uh, there we go. Uh, I know where it's at already. It's right over here. Okay, it's this one. And now we get busted. It's not loaded. Damn it, Susie, where do you keep the bullets? Glad's occupied with Joanne, so we got some time to get reacquainted. But, but we best keep our voices down, darling. So you never found the family jewels? Maybe I can help. Oh my, you have grown. Thought I heard you in here. You got an itch that needs scratching, boy? How about you let old Clyde take care of it? Right, right. Shit. Jump, jump, Billy, damn. You're not getting away that easy. A half hour with Susie for anybody who can get his hands on that little greaser. I'd skin that boy alive for a taste of that little trollop. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Here, hold on. Oh. Where do you think you're going? Zigzag, Billy, zigzag. Ah, he still hit you. Oof. I think I should shrink the resolution just a little bit. You can't uh, see my health all the way. And my ammo counter. Oof. Man, you guys are shooting fast. I mean, Y'all gotta be quick draw McGraw out here. Need this whip. Cause that's how you're gonna get across in certain areas. <laughs> careful when sliding down sometimes because if you uh, slide down too fast you can take some serious fall damage. Oh, I thought I... There we go. Ooh. You ain't fine, Jack. Shit. 
Keep going. I think I might have did this wrong. Ah, uh, no, I did it right. Cool. Ah, oh my god. Geronimo! Not even in town for two minutes and I'm getting chased out. All because I wanted a little bit of booty. Ugh. This is Crazy Frank's place. Lost his mind in the war. He's half a bubble off plum. Nuttier than a bed bug. If someone in this town has ammo, it's Crazy Frank. Alright. Let's go get some ammo for old Crazy Frank. Look, Lucy, it's Billy. Well, boy, did you find the gold? There is no gold. The gold of Juarez. It's a fairy tale, okay? It don't exist. Right, I get it. Mom's the word. Okay, let's back up. So we gotta sneak in there. We gotta be real careful about it. Because if we uh, get seen, we gotta start all over again. Come on, don't get stuck on nothing. Fuck! You wanna take what's mine? One more step and Lucy will blow your head clean off. I should have just walked in there and not even bothered with the door. So now we gotta come back down. Don't know where he's at though. He's over there. You gotta make sure his back is like facing you because he'll see you he will see you like all the time so wait till his back is completely to you and then dip on in the ammo's over here but he'll catch you anyway Hey, Lucy, what do you want to do with this little thief? Me and Lucy, we shot men, women, and children. So we sure as hell can shoot a lowlife like you. Take that, Stop. bastard. And run for it. Uh, uh, shoot oh. back here. Run. We Holy got shit. Run, Lucy. Lucy, look out of him, go. <sighs> Crazy old coot. I mean, you did just try to rob him. Well, you did rob him. You stole his ammo. I don't think... I don't think he's, uh... You know, that far off from... Being right to shoot your ass. Alright. Now we are... Back home to Mama. Hopefully. There it is. The only home I ever knew. Bet mom's cooking dinner right now. Baking biscuits, making stew. I can almost smell it. Thomas! You get away from her, you bastard! You hear me? I'll kill you! Alright, well that is the end of... Episode 1, I guess? And I guess that'll be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. You take care. And have a nice day.